If you remember from last class when we did addition subtractions, addition subtractions, if you have addition, quick review there. If you have addition, like x plus 2 equals 5, what's the opposite to addition? What do you do? Subtraction. You subtract. You subtract 2 from both sides. You end up with what? x equals 3. If you have subtractions, what's the opposite to subtractions? Addition. Additions. So that's nothing to do with multiplication division. Just quick review there. So what about multiplication division now? Um. It's like if you have 2 times x equals 14. So think about this. 2 times what is 14? 7. 7. How do you get 7 out of 14 and 2? Do you add them? Do you subtract them? Do you multiply them or divide them? Add them or multiply. 14 plus 2 doesn't equal to 7. Multiply. Well, it's multiplication. So to get a 7 out of 14 and 2, you have to divide 14 by 2. So x will have to be what? 7. So when you have multiplication, the opposite to multiplication is always a division. X equals to what? Seven. So when you have a multiplication, you always have to divide. If you have division, you always want to do what? Multiply. Multiply. So if I have Y over 4 equals 9. Now, if I was doing this, uh, the first thing I would do is get rid of the fractions. Yes. And to get rid of the fraction, you got to multiply this side by 4, or 4 over 1. And if you multiply this side by 4, you have to multiply that side by 4. Y equals what? What's 9 times 4? 36. 36. So that's what we're going to be doing today is if you have multiplication, if you have division, what do you do? 5t equals 20. To solve for t, what do we do? Divide by what? 5. t equals 4. 8 m equals 2. That's also multiplications. Wait, what? Oh. 8 m equals 2. That's a multiplication. Remember, you always want to solve for 1 m. How do you make the 8 m 1 m? Divide. Divided by what? Eight. By 8, not 2, by 8 to make it 1. And if you divide this side by 8, we're going to divide that side by 8, Cindy. M equals, can we simplify 2 over 8? Yeah. To what? 4. 1 fourth. Let's continue with that. Is it okay if you do 4? If you do 4? It's the same four. thing. No, 1 over 4, not 4. You gotta put the 1. Of course you have to. 1 fourth. Just think about this. Show okay. wrong in high school. One just think of money. A fourth of a dollar, which is what? A quarter. It's different than four bucks. That's true. You know? So you have to put the one there. If I have 20x equals 36, x will be what? Wait, what do you... Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, x is... Um, you divide both sides by what? 20. Right? So x equals 36 over 20. Now, can I simplify that? I can divide them both by 4. By 4, this is what? 9. By 4, this is 5. 9 over 5. Twelve T equals twenty seven.
What do we do here? We divide. divide by 12. T equals what? 27 over 12. Can I simplify that? Yeah. By 3, this is what? 9, Nine by 3, this is? 4. four. 9 over 4. Point four M equals two point four. <coughs> point four M equals two point four. Solve it for M. We have a variable. Well, they all have variables. We have one here, we have one here, we have one here. There's two points. Four? That's a number. Oh, okay. That's a, a small number. No, that's 2.4, yeah, not, not 2 times 4. So what do we do? Divide. Divide by what? 4. four. By point 0.4. Four. Four. You always want to divide by the constant next to the unknown, next to M, next to T. And now I gotta go to the side and divide them. Well, I can't divide them yet, why? Because this number on the bottom is a decimal number. To divide that number has to be a whole number. So how do you make it a whole number? Move the decimal point one place to the right, move this one place to the right. So you end up with what? 24 over four, which is what? Is that a six? Three point two Y equals four point six. Three point two. So we're going to divide both sides by what? Three point two. Again, I can't divide because this is a decimal number. I gotta move it one place to the right, move this one place to the right. That's 46 over 32. Which if you wanna simplify it, what's that? 23 over what? 16? Here's the problem. Because you have decimal numbers, they probably want the answer as a decimal number. So you gotta go and divide it. Yep, 23 divided by 16. Here's a decimal point, lots of zeros if you need them. Can you divide 23 by 16? One. One times 16 is 16. Remainder seven, bring the zero down, 70. Is it a four maybe? Four times six, 24. Four times one is four and two is six, 64. Three. Three times six, 18. Eight carry one, that's 48. 12, 120. Uh, what's 120 by 16? I can cheat. Seven. Seven times 16. It's 112, and you can continue with this. I'm out of space there. Your remainder is eight. So when you bring the eight down, you bring another zero, that becomes a five, and that'll be your answer. I'm just out of space there. So you'll find that Y equals 1.4375. So notice the process didn't change. If you're multiplying that number, you're always gonna divide this by that number, always. So with that in mind, let's bring in chapter two again, fractions. Oh, I heard that. Two thirds T. 
equals 5 and 1 6. I'll make it even worse. <coughs> Notice we have multiplications, right? Mm -hmm. What is the opposite to multiplications? Division. Division. So t is going to equal to 5 and 1 6 divided by 2 thirds. It's this one divided by that. And let's go to the side and divide it. 5 and 1 6 divided by what? 2 thirds. I'm going to keep bringing fraction the whole semester. Till at the end, you said, I got it, I think. 6 times 5? 30. And 1? Divided by 2 thirds. Remember how we do divisions. KFC. Keep change and flip. 31 over 6 times 3 over 2. By 3, this is 1. By 3, this is 2. 31 times 1, 31 over 4. So your answer is 31 over 4. If they want it as a mixed number, which they probably asked for a mixed number. I don't know. That's simplified fraction, but as a mixed number, seven, seven, 7 times 4 is 28. What's the remainder? 3. That's 7 and 3 quarter. Seven and three quarter. Three and one fifth M equals two and one fourth. <coughs> Rules don't change if that number is a mixed number, a fraction, a decimal, a whole number. Same set of rules applies. We're going to divide, to solve for M, we're going to divide by what? Which one we divide by? Two, five divided by three. Two and one fourth divided by what? Three, three and one fifth. It's always this one divided by that. The one next to M is always your bottom number. No, the one next to T is always your bottom number. Always. So again, go to the side. Go back to chapter two and do the division. 4 times 2, 8 and 1. 9 over 4 divided by 16 over 5. Now change multiplication to division. Keep change. It says backward. Change division to multiplication. Keep change and flip. 9 times 5 is what? 45 over 4 times 6, which is 64. It's a decimal value. Since that's, I mean, a fraction, not a decimal. Since these are fractions, you probably want to leave this as a fraction, not a decimal. And that's how we handle multiplications. So what about division? What is the opposite to division? Multiplications. multiplications. If I get M over 0 0.5 is equal to 2. That's a division. So the opposite to division is multiplication. M is going to be 2 times 0 0.5. And again, you go to the side. What's 0 0.5 times 2? Chapter 3 now. 0 0.5, you write that without a decimal point. That's a 5. That's a 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 
and you move the decimal point one place because you only have one digit to the right of the decimal point. So your answer is what? One. Five equals y over two. I put y on the right side this time. Five equals y over two. So what do we do? Multiply by what? By two. That number on the bottom of y. So you're gonna multiply both sides of the equation by two. 10 equals y. If you don't like that multiplication, if it really bothers you, this problem can be done differently. It says five equals y over two. I, I like y on the left side. I, I don't like it on the right. So I'll go like this. y over two equals what? Five. That's the same thing. Most of you, your mind is set up to be the x on the left, the numbers on the right. So if, if you're one of those people, switch them. Doesn't change anything. And that y over two, you can write that as what? One y over, so that's really one half. So you can change that division to multiplication. When you're dividing by two is the same as multiplication by one half. Now you can apply the rule for multiplication. Anytime you have multiplication, what do you do? You divide. Five divided by a half. And again, do the math. Five divided by one half. Keep, change, and flip. That's 5 over 1. Change and flip, that's 2 over 1. You end up 10 over 1, which is what? 10. So, yep, but if some people don't like division, uh -oh. Angelica. So what they do, they change it to multiplications. So if you don't mind multiplication, then when you have division, then it's fine. I'm just showing you two different approaches, the same problem. It is a lot of work for it versus just multiply by two. I'll give you a different method actually. When you have this, we said it's what? You gotta divide both sides by what? two-thirds, right? So you go n equals six divided by two-thirds. That's how we did them, which means six divided by two-thirds. Keep, change, and flip. Six times three, 18 divided by two, which is what? Nine. That's how we did them. Well, other people say, you know what, you can bypass some of these steps. You don't have to write this and write this and jump to that. You can get to that step in one operation. How? You want to make that a one, right? Multiply it by the reciprocal. The reciprocal means what? Flip it. So if you multiply this side by three over two, you have to multiply that side by three over two. The reason by three over two, the three cancels the three, the two cancels the two, what's left there? One. Just n, one n, yes. What's six times three? 18 divided by two? Nine. Is that faster even? So a lot of people will multiply anytime they have fractions here, they'll multiply by the reciprocal much quicker and easier. We've shown you multiple ways. You choose what works for you. Like people said, why do you always show us all these different techniques? Because I might like one way, you might like a different way. Now you won't know if you like this till you try it. Once you try it, oh, this is a wonderful way of doing it. Much quicker. If I have five halves T 
equals 7. I don't want to divide and KFC and switch and all that. I'm going to multiply this side by what? 2 over 5. 2 over 5, yes. I'm going to multiply that side by 2 over 5. The 2 cancels the 2. The 5 cancels the 5. What's left there is T. 7 times 2 is what? 14 over 5. Because the number is 77 over 1. And that's your answer. Unless they say change it to a mixed number, I will leave it like that. So when you have division, if you don't want to use the division there, you can use that method. If I have z divided by 5 equals 8, well, you can write that 1z over 5, right? So now you can multiply both sides by what? 5 over z. 5, not over z, 5 over just a number. You want to keep z there, Jamie. 5 over 1. You don't want to cancel the z. The 5 cancels the 5. If you did over Z, Z is gone, we're in trouble there. I need to keep Z there. So what's left there is just Z. The eight is eight over one. Eight times five is what? 40 over one, which is 40. N over seven equals one ninth. Again, the number in front of n is what? 1. So we're going to multiply this side by 7 over what, Angelica? 1. Multiply that side by 7 over 1. 7's cancels. 1's cancels. What you have left is n. 1 times 7, 7. 9 times 1, 9. Now, they might give you some word problems here and go like, for example, if you play baseball, you have home plate right here. You got first base here, second base here. This is home or softball, first, second, and you got third base right here. And the distances between them are equal. This distance, that distance, this one, that one is equal. All of them are equal. So we don't know what they are. Let's call it x. That means this is x, that's x, that's x. We'll take uh, Big Poppy. We said Big Poppy hit a home run. And he ran 360 feet when he hit the home run. When you hit a home run, you start from here and you run all the way to here, to this to this, to that. That means four X's equals what? 360. Can you tell me what the length of each side is? What do you do to solve for X? Divide by four. X equals 90. Baseball players play on 90 foot diamond. College players play on 90 foot diamonds. So that's 90, 90, 90, 90 feet. You can use it for decimals. Meaning what? Another example for multiplications. You bought five plane tickets to go with your family to Orlando, Disney five plane tickets and it costs you. We're not sure what the price of each one, but when you talk to the agent at the end, they go, you owe us $1,360 for five seats, five plane tickets. So how much is it per person, per seat? What do we do here? Divide by five. 
many people? Or five five? people. So we divide that by five. We go two, two times five, which is 10. There's a three, bring the six down. 36 by five is what, seven? Seven times five is 35. 10 by five is what? Two, two times five is 10. So the cost per person is $272 per ticket. Yep. Or, again, grandma died, and in the will it says, I leave my money to my four kids. Now, we don't know how much money she has. So you go to see the lawyer, says, this is the money grandma has. She said, divide them equally between four kids. And each one of you is going to get $7,213. How much money did grandma has? Notice that's division. What's the opposite to division? Multiply. Multiplication. You multiply by four. That's times here. So seven, two, one, three times four. Four times three is twelve. Four times one is four. One is five. Four times two, eight. And four times seven is what? Twenty-eight. So grandma had $28,852 in her account before she died. That money divided between four people equally, each one gets 7,213 bucks. So there's some of the applications where multiplication divisions being used. There's tons of places. <laughs>